Alrighty then, here we are for another Inktober. We are on day five. It's October 5th. And today's prompt from Jake Parker's prompt list is long. Now, when I thought of long, I interpreted it as someone being super tall. Um, so I wanted to pick something that wasn't Disney and I wanted to pick something that wasn't DreamWorks. So <laughs> I tend to only stick to Disney and DreamWorks because they're in my two most favorite animation companies. And then Sony Animation is pretty cool too. But those are my two top favorite ones. So I thought I need to pick somebody who's a little bit more like Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. So I have been recently wanting, I'm, I have been, I'm not wanting to, I am binge watching all of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends on Hulu because every single episode is on there. So let's talk about what I'm doing here with um, Wilt, who is my interpretation for today's prompt. Wilt is extremely tall. So that's who I thought of. And if you ever watch Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, when Blue and Mac show up for the first time, they're greeted by Wilt and they go, wow, you're tall. That's all they said. So <laughs> I love that whole moment because Wilt's one of my favorite um, imaginary characters. So I challenge myself a little bit on today's prompt. The way I challenged myself was, is as you could have seen, I was using a real brush tip paint to line Mac and Blue in Wilt. That is one of my big, biggest weaknesses in art. And I think that's why Jake Parker created Inktober was because he wanted to get better at lining. Now it's probably because uh, altogether when it comes to brush tip pins, I'm super shaky. I am not careful with it at all. And as well for Copic markers. When it comes to Copic markers, as you can see, you can see the little sketchy marks. I don't do a flat overall color unless it requires me to do about three layers. But to get a flat color with Copic markers is really hard for me too. I have a friend, his name's Sam, and I think last year uh, we did an Inktober video together. And he is amazing at brush tip pens and at using Copic markers but making a flat overall Copic marker layer and I'm so jealous every time I see his artwork not only does he have his own original style but his brush tip pin penmanship is just amazing it's so smooth and it's so nice and he knows like the right kind of line thicknesses and where they need to go and that's something I struggle with so much as well with Copic markers he just I actually sat and watched him use Copic markers on his characters and just watching him put like an actual flat color and he didn't have to go over it three times like I do. He just, he's magical. <laughs> so it's just, I feel like everybody has those artists that they look up to. Sam's one of the artists that I look up to. So if you want to look at his Instagram, I'll leave it down in the description down below and you can see why I'm awestruck every time I look at his art. But I feel like everybody looks at artists like that like I look at Jake Parker and I envy his penmanship so much and how he's able to shade with a brush tip pen and I mean it's just they're just skills and I think that's what's great about Inktober is that I think I said it yesterday as well that it's helping you discover different areas when it comes to ink or shading or just different techniques like cross hatching it shows you that you can either improve in this area or you can you find out that you're actually really good at this kind of stuff and you want to keep going with it that's what i really like about inktober because you find all these different areas that you can experiment with and you can grow as an artist so I did these flat colors, Copic markers of Mac and Wilt, and then I woke up the next day and I thought, this isn't just good enough, these flat colors, because Copic markers, they count as ink, so I went in and I did, added a little bit of cross hatching as shadows, because I just, I can't, I can't settle just for the Copic marker colors. <laughs> so I went in and I shaded Wilt, Mac, and Blue with some cross hatching with my ballpoint pen. But yeah, that was today's little rant about 
penmanship and everything and it's just really fun it's a good way to broaden your horizons and try different things so if you've been doing just regular lining for the day maybe try lining with a brush tip pen or maybe uh use watercolor for like you know ink as watercolor and you know the possibilities are endless but it's just interesting because you find out different things you want to try during this month challenge but yes guys I will see you all later, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye!